You want to harass me? That's fine. But you start messing with my patients and you cross the line. What's going on? Oh, I was simply passing through when I was accosted by this one hawking her wares. Really, Dr. Weber, you might want to ask yourself if you're running a hospital or a flea market. Helena has no business here. I'm so tired of her circling like a vulture. Oh, you know, all this vitriol can't be good for my great-grandchild. Now, I would be very happy to cover the cost of sending Elizabeth back to her lovely, lovely room at Shady. Okay, that's that's enough. Oh, well, maybe we should page an obstetrician and have him prescribe us a sedative. You know, something safe for baby, but something that would calm mommy down. Would you please take Miss Smith back to her room so I can have a word with Helena? Come on. I want to show you those earrings I told you about. Now, I realize that Elizabeth is your sister, but to behave... Give it a rest. I know. This is just a game for you. One I have no interest in playing. So against my better judgment, I'm going to turn around and walk to the desk. And when I turn back around, if you're gone, great. If you're not, I'm calling security, and I'm sure they would be happy to listen to you flap your gums as they carry you to the curb. See, that's the woman I was telling you about. I know you think I'm exaggerating, but she really is dangerous. I knew who she was. I just wanted to get up close and personal, like pressing your nose against the glass of a shark tank in an aquarium. You don't know how dead on that analogy is. <laughs> I'm sorry she insulted you oh, and your work. I would never let anyone like that wear any of my pieces. Promise me, just promise me if you ever see her again, you'll just stay away from her, because I don't want her to hurt you to get a reaction out of me. Friends, we are, aren't we? I'm terminal. What can Helena do to me? Hmm? <laughs> The death of Kiefer Bauer was a tragic accident. My client admits to driving the car and leaving the scene, but the extenuating circumstances in this case were extreme. She had just found her 17-year-old daughter who'd been assaulted. Alexis Davis was in shock, and her only thought was to get this poor, battered girl to the hospital. Okay. What? You're not interrupting me like you usually do. Which means that you must be terrified. Leaving the scene of an accident is a Class D felony. It's a maximum of seven, seven years. Seven years, yes, I know. And I know that this is not your first offense, but... A Class D felony with these circumstances? Alexis, any judge in their right mind is going to give you community service and a suspended sentence. Oh, tell that to Michael. He killed Claudia by accident. He didn't come forward right away, and the judge used him as an example. What if that happens to me? Just, uh, it was not thinking straight. I mean, when I walked into the hospital, saw my little girl, the way she looked, all I could think about was taking down the animal who did this to her. I understand that. I don't think any man who's got a daughter wouldn't. But uh, I also don't understand why you were willing to jump to conclusions and not listen to reason and not even care to hear the truth. You were willing to put my kid on a slab in the morgue, man. How can I ever forgive you for that? If, if you believe in karmic justice, it's landed on me because I threatened to take the life of your son. And now I'm losing three of mine. Your father and I, um, it's our responsibility to do what's best for you. And we've made a lot of mistakes. And Michael being in prison is our fault. No, it wasn't. The judge and Dante, they did this to no, him. Look, we're Michael's parents, and we should have done things differently. I can't go back and change what happened to Michael, but I can make sure that what happened to your brother doesn't happen to you. Don't worry, I'm not going to prison. I'm gonna make sure of that. Your father's business is too dangerous. So, um, you won't see Sonny anymore. He won't come here to visit and you're not going to go to his house. Like when I didn't see him before, after Michael got shot? Well, this time it's a little different because uh, I'm not gonna reconsider. 
until you're an adult and able to make your own decisions, Sunny will not be a part of your life. I'm losing everyone. Michael's in prison and I already lost Dante and Jax. No, you're not losing Jax. You won't lose Jax. Jax says you two are getting a divorce. Maybe so. But Jax still loves you very much. Michael would say he should fight to be with my dad. Michael would want what's best for you. And we just all want you to be safe. I made with Anthony to protect Michael, it's just not enough. All right, well, what else can you do? Well, the only thing I can do is protect Michael in prison. That means I gotta, I gotta get in there with him. So I'm gonna go to Claire, I'm gonna offer to plead guilty to any charge that she can think of <laughs> with the condition that I am sent to Pentonville as Michael's cellmate. But Claire turned you down the first time when you offered to plead guilty in Sunny's place. But Jason, I think you should try again. I do, I really do. This is for Michael and he is alone and scared and your place is with him.